USDA financing. That's, yeah. Let's yeah. break it down. What is USDA financing and what type of so, programs do you So have? when you think of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, what do you think? Country. And farms, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Did you agriculture. know? Agriculture. Agriculture. So you think it's, most people think it's for farming, but 80% of their budget goes to nutrition, which is food stamps. That's where most of their budget goes. A lot of their money outside of that is for a housing program, and it's called yeah, a rural development loan. Mm -hmm. So they have they so many programs within the program you just have to dig. To and it things. takes like a, a long time to get function. established yeah. with them, but once you're in, you're you, in. You, and so knowing the game is half the battle. Yeah. I agree. I've, I've closed a few USDA loans. They tell you it's Yeah, they work. They work. And I mean, when you look at the rural areas. So let's break it down. Okay. Like, how does somebody, like, what are the qualifications for a USDA loan? Okay, so the qualifications for a USDA loan for a direct loan is that you have to be in poverty, mm -hmm. meaning it is for poor people, yes. working poor. So if you make $15 an hour, so I'll give you an example. Palmetto is a USDA territory. Absolutely. Right, so and that's Locust right, Grove. Locust Grove. I'm very familiar. Right up the street, like mm -hmm. literally right up South Fulton Parkway. So if you make $15 an hour, family of five, so is, 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 a husband, is, is, the husband was the only one that worked. $15 an hour, they got food stamps. They get to use that money to qualify for their loan. So on paper, they qualify for $263,000 in mortgage. The government subsidizes their mortgage by almost 35%. Their mortgage interest rate is 1%. So 1% interest rate on a $263,000 house, and the government is going to subsidize it, and it's going to be spread out over 33 to 38 years, depending on their situation. So if a person has a disability in your household, receives SSI, you automatically qualify for the 1%. Mm. So this is so for, again, someone like ourselves who are like, you know what? We just can't find any land in land. We can't do any deals in Atlanta. And that's US, USDA DA direct. USDA direct. Direct. So direct. That's not going through the lender. You can't go through the lender. Yeah. You for have the, to for go. For the direct program. Mm -hmm. But the caveat is, is the reason most people don't even use it is because they say it takes too long. Well, the time is going to pass anyway, honey. So huh. yeah. <laughs> That's a joke. The, the, the time, time is going to pass anyway. Have you ever heard anybody say, I don't want to go back like, to school? And you're like... Yeah. But what are you doing? Right. You the right. time right. is going to, it's how long urban, it's going to take. It's going to take the time urban. it's going to take. Mm. So it takes Certain four months and they're going to take, buy, it's a government worker. They're going system. to take the entire and four months. But once you have your certificate of eligibility, then you can go find a house. You, you, so go as a area, investor, builder, developer, realtor, if we spot build, we already have a guaranteed buyer. I have a guaranteed buyer. They have a requirement. The house can't be over 2,000 square feet. Great. I will build a house over 2,000 square yeah, feet. Same, Whatever same the guideline is, it's the same thing in the mortgage business. Yeah. What What is the guideline? So the guideline for USDA direct is the house cannot be over 2,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. If it can't be over 2,000 square feet, don't build anything over 2,000 square feet. You know how big a 2,000 square feet foot house is? Yeah. Especially sense. for someone coming out of a apartment? Yeah. And their mortgage is going to be $500 a month forever and they're going to own it? It's an amazing product for people who for the are right the, person. for the working poor, but yeah. the working poor is most of America. Point. For the working poor. For the working poor is most of America. Do you know that 50% of people in America make less than $30,000 a year? Yeah. 50% Yeah. make less than $30,000 a year. So there's more of those people that need to be served yes, than yes, people yes, who yes, are yes, buying yes, million dollar yes. homes. That's a fact. So that is why these programs are super duper important because for people who have disposable income who cannot find a deal in their city, drive up the street. You're not a tree, get in your car. Mm. And I then think. you be the face of it because now you're letting them see that they can't change the rules once we get in it. This yeah. is the rules and the guidelines. This Absolutely. is what it is. So now with the USD Direct, uh -huh. right? That's what I then you have the USD Rural Loan that lenders will offer. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right? that one. Yeah. So what is the, the difference? What's the USDA one that the lenders will offer? Like, what are the qualifications for that? It has to be in a USDA uh, area. Uh, so there's a map. That's number one. It has to be on the map. So the map <laughs> searches and it will tell you green or red. If it's mm -hmm hits green, then that means it is a USDA area. And the address has to hit, so you can't have the census track, you have to have an address. Yeah. That goes directly to yeah. it. To that lot. Minimum 640 credit score. Yeah, minimum 640. But with this program, you don't have to have one. See, with the direct one, With the direct one, yeah. you don't. But if you go through the lender, Blender, you, you have to have a yeah. 640 credit so score. So that's why this one is so great, because they know in these areas, they were catering. This was 
this was I can I say this on here? Yeah, go this, ahead. This was the white man. Yeah, this, this was what you got this is like, have you ever been to small towns and you wonder, why don't the black people have a house and all these white people have these big houses with boats and blah blah because they knew about all the program. My estate people. Mm -hmm. They knew about the program. They didn't go to the bank, they went to USDA direct. So you could get this because it doesn't matter how much land is on there. Yeah, they they built the house on there. Definitely. So they built the house on there, paid for the land. Then they got money for farming, all of these things. But it was subsidized. It's the biggest welfare system for whites in this country for almost 100 years. Wow. Wow. Yes, this program is ridiculously great. Now, so now, is there a minimum amount of acreage that the property has to be? So uh, you said the house has to be 2,000 square feet, feet or mm -hmm. less. Uh -huh. But can you have like a 50 by 100 lot or do you need five acres minimum no you can have a, it's a regular size lot okay so it just has to be in that area in the, in the rural area. in the rural area in the rural area sometimes you'll be you'll be surprised by what they shot deem to be rural because yeah. the USDA loans i've closed and this was in the early early parts early of, my parts career. of your career um, we're at locust <laughs> grove henry county mcdonough um palmetto yeah like those areas but they're right outside of huge like cities mm -hmm. like i'm saying like one step out so i personally think mm -hmm. that you, we should be able to provide them with a map. I think people really want to start. Yeah. So it's going to be the USDA.gov. USDA.gov. So, yeah. mm -hmm. And we're going to put this in the yeah. description. Too. Yeah, Press. it's the USDA.gov. Peace, peace, king. Peace, queen. This vlog was like a... Uh, like, how can I explain this? How can I explain this? This vlog was one of my favorite vlogs I ever did. Because at the end of the day, 50% of people, 50% of Americans, right, in this country, live under the poverty line. I don't give a fuck if you, oh, sorry for cursing. I don't give, I don't give a damn if you middle class or, 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 or under the middle class, because ain't no more middle class in, in you know what I mean, kind of. So it's like, it's either you rich or you poor nowadays. So 50% making, making minimum wage or just say $30 an hour, it don't even matter. Because yearly, annually, you still, you still poor. If you got two jobs and you making more money in one than the other, you still are in the 50% margin of poverty. So now what is what is poverty? Because because and what is success? Because in a way, if it's rich, rich or poor, right? If we go by that percentage, if we go by the number, if we go by the statistics, these people, the, the people that's in poverty don't know how to they don't know how to get out one. They don't know, they don't know, including me, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm still in poverty and I'm I just have a my mind is open. So I'm realizing certain things as I go. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not physically poor. I'm not talking about that because that's a whole other story. But the percentage on working class citizens of America are in, are able to qualify for housing loans or, or 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 mortgage loans from the realtor from the from any form of government that you want to go buy a house on. You could get a house for making fifteen dollars an hour. It's called USD USDA.gov, I think, and they 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 ba this program basically caters to people in poverty. I just got the I just got some fruity lalas. I just got some fruity lalas the other last month. I'm still trying to get that back. That's what she was talking about. The agriculture. People think when you say agriculture, it is 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 one thing. Nah, it's it's broad because it's set up that way so so you can get so you can kind of stay poor or depending on if you're doing it right. Cause now when you go into these programs, people, individuals going going into these fifteen dollar, making fifteen dollars an hour, and then you go into these mortgage programs for 30 years or however long you is. Cause it's a debt. You you more mortgage you you in there for damn near until you die. But the like she said, people is being smart. People is getting smarter. People is gaining more knowledge now. So 
in order for you in order for you to uh capitalize and 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 still and kind of still have some way to live you can you can uh use use that as an asset and make a business use the houses as an asset and make a business because this is where you're getting your funding from these these programs that caters to the um poverty line the 50 percent now when she was saying the, um about the lenders and the direct loans and those are third parties so whatever the direct loan lender is going to do the realtor might not do all the or the person selling you the house might not do all the program the poverty program might not do the usda.gov they might not do that what the lender do but you, if you go into straight to them you will get the the you will get that house huh, for however much two hundred thousand. all right it's 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 uh i gotta have a certain amount of your uh, acres or it's not too much land two thousand like she said two thousand two thousand um feet or whatever acres two thousand square feet niggas is leaving their people leaving their apartments and going to do that and then building on it you know what i'm saying you might think you might think it it, it take time but it don't take it, it time is of the essence like she said in my case when she said the school stuff going back to school i already did school i graduated early you know what i'm saying i graduated high school early like two that like on time 2011 i wasn't wasting no time i was playing sports always had business in my mind but like she said like people say people say don't i don't I, I, I go back to school in certain cases why not because you you you, you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to waste no time because i did you know what i'm saying i in my case i wasted time trying to trying to trying to do the formal education when i was could have did and when i could have did formal education and self-education at the same time but at the end of the day and then still then now is in my case is it's hurting me because I'm, I'm i'm trying to come up with a business plan entrepreneur mind state but i still have to work a nine to five i still have to have income coming in because of no product is being implemented yet in my case you feel me so school was basically the bread i had to go to school i didn't have to but that i wanted to go to college you know what I'm saying? I wanted that experience, but at the end of the day, I was experience don't come with a check. Experience don't come with, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, you capitalizing off of just experiencing things. You have to you have to learn and implement and and take action and, and actually abide these skills that you that you going through on this journey. And with that being said, it's vlog 31. Your boy Mr. Smithers. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, man, we coming at, at you. We coming at you with this knowledge, wealth, health, you know what I mean? Longevity, YouTube talk, business talk, entrepreneurship journey, man. And it's your boy, and I'm out.